Hey, welcome back. I'm Carissa and this is Carissa's Garden. Uh, and this is my first update for winter sewing. I planted most of these um, in February-ish. And um, it is now end of March, so I'd like to show you what is happening. Um, out of about 60 containers, only 10 have germinated so far. But you know what? That's okay. I will learn patience, <laughs> whether I like it or not. So yeah, I'm, I'm quite thrilled about um, what I see so far, and I can't wait to see what comes up in the next few weeks. So I will definitely keep you posted. Um, the ones that have germinated now, I will warn you, they are not huge. But like I said, it's it's only end of March, and uh, we have not had super, super warm, warm days. Um, about plus 18 is about uh, Celsius. Plus 18 Celsius is about the warmest we have gotten and in the nights it still does get quite cold so I'm sure the seeds know when to germinate based on those temperatures um, so I'm gonna not give up hope for those so I've kind of sectioned off these are my winners they're in the lead <laughs> for the race if you will and these ones have yet to sprout um, and if you've been here before you also might have seen me plant some I put some over by the barbecue in that direction um, and uh, I did them in trays, but I put saran wrap on top just to kind of um, try another method and half of them have germinated. So I will take you over there after we're done here. But yeah, I will show you what we've got so far. So here is yarrow and this is the wild variety. So it does grow native in our area. So I'm sure that's probably why it was one of the first to sprout. And I will show you. So here's yarrow, just a few in there, and next we have barrage, look at those cute little babies, <laughs> makes me pretty happy. Next, nepeta. also known as catmint. And then we have Iceland poppy. My dog is curious about what I'm doing. Cece, Cece. Mm. Or maybe she's jealous. And then we have lupins. I think these might have been the first one to come up. Looking pretty good. And Serastium, Serastium, which is a uh, snow in summer. It's a white leafed uh, ground cover where it gets the name snow in summer. So there's a few in there. And this is Alyssum saxatile, which is a perennial variety of an Alyssum, which I believe is not even technically an Alyssum. Um, and I think I saw some in here. Yeah, there's some green in there. Okay, and then we've got Echinacea, also known as Coneflower. There's a few little sprouts in there. And did I do this one already? Yes, Nepeta. Okay, and then here are some more lupins. I kind of wanted to try different containers to see how it goes. So I think this was a croissant container. And this seemed to work too. There is the lupin. And then more yarrow in here. And then the last one here is Iceland poppy. And these seem to do fine in these um, muffin or or yeah, muffin containers, <laughs> they seem to do just fine. Oh, helping yourself to some water. <laughs> okay, so that is the update for these jugs. Um, so like I said, at two, four, six, eight, ten, maybe eleven. Eleven have germinated here, but then if we walk over to 
my barbecue area. Don't mind the green pool. <laughs> I planted some in these trays and the Shasta daisies have not come up, nor the allium, but the chrysanthemum have started to germinate. Oh, there's one. You can see that. And if you look really closely, they are starting to grow. So that is all for today. I just thought I would show curious eyes what is going on. Um, I know I've looked at so many videos and blogs about how long things take, right? Because you're just so worried um, that, that it's going to happen, right? But it's just, just a waiting game. So I'm, I'm okay to learn how to wait. <laughs> so yeah, this is update number one, like I said, and I will show you as the other ones germinate. Um, I'm super excited to get, get these in the ground, probably wait a little bit longer for that. But um, it was a fun experience so far, and I think I'll definitely do it again. And, and as I see what germinates and, and what I have the most success with, I think I'll probably, you know, narrow it down to what, what I want to grow again, because this is a bit much. <laughs> this is our a side entrance to the house, but we use it most often. And uh, I'll tell you, the amount of people I've had wondering what this is, uh, yeah, there's there's numerous people who are just maybe wondering if I'm slightly insane. <laughs> no, I don't think that, but yeah. Anyway, not everyone has 60 milk jugs out. <laughs> anyway, most gardeners would understand. And um, do you know what? I'm really excited just to get so many plants started at, at one time without needing to put them in the, in the basement with the grow lights. So yeah, I welcome this method so far. Yeah, so I hope you have a great day and thanks for joining me. See you next time.